Banff is the quintessential winter getaway in the heart of the Canadian Rockies. Surrounded by snow-covered peaks with easy access to winter activities, modern accommodation, and majestic natural beauty, Banff and the Banff National Park is one of Canada's top winter destinations. Banff is located in Western Canada in the province of Alberta. Visitors to Banff primarily arrive in the city of Calgary, which provides a world-class international airport servicing flights from around the world. The easiest way to get to Banff is by car or SUV. However, in the winter, the highway to Banff can be affected by snowfall or icy conditions. If you are uncomfortable with winter driving, shuttle service to Banff is available from the arrivals level at the Calgary Airport. See the links in the description below for schedules and pricing. About an hour along the Trans-Canada Highway, then another 45 minutes to Lake Louise, Calgary is the closest major city to Banff National Park. Banff can also be reached from Jasper to the north, Radium to the south, and Vancouver and British Columbia to the west. Entry into the park is controlled at the park gates where one day admission is about $20 Canadian per car or about $8 per person if traveling in a large group. Alternately, passes can also be purchased from the visitor center in downtown Banff, only 15 minutes from the gate. At an altitude of over 4,500 feet, Banff is the highest town in Canada with easy access to world-renowned ski resorts, luxury accommodation, and five-star restaurants. While in Banff, service to the local attractions, ski hills, and Lake Louise is available through public transit and shuttle service. Banff Avenue runs down the center of Banff and is a great place for a walk while taking in a winter carnival or a snow sculpture demonstration. The main street is lined with shops, restaurants and bars catering to visitors from around the world. There are plenty of hotels in Banff, but they come at a premium. If you're planning on spending a couple days in the Banff area and you have a car, check Canmore just outside the park or even Calgary for lower rates. Banff was literally built for tourists. In 1883, after the discovery of natural hot springs, the Canadian Pacific Railway began the development of Banff and the Banff Springs Hotel as a tourist destination. Today, Banff stays true to its roots and serves up indulgences to visitors as they take in the natural beauty. A short drive from downtown is the Caven Basin, the original hot springs discovery that launched the town of Banff and the Canadian National Park System in 1885. At only $4, you can visit the cave and marvel in the beauty of the natural oculus that illuminates the cave and the brilliant blue mineral pool below. Bow Falls is located below the Banff Springs Hotel and in the winter months, partially freezes as the water flows under a thick sheet of ice. You can walk out on the ice of the river to get a closer look at the falls, but use extreme caution and be sure to check your footing before venturing too far. Originating at Bow Glacier, the river is fed by various glaciers, lakes and mountain creeks. One of the cleanest water sources in the world, the Bow River travels westward through Calgary and is famous for its spectacular trout fishing. In the winter months, temperatures in Banff will hover around minus 10 degrees Celsius, with lows into the minus 20s or 30s. Due to its location, however, Banff and southern Alberta can experience a meteorological phenomenon called a Chinook, where temperatures can climb well above freezing for a few days, giving some reprieve from the blistering cold. The jewel of the Canadian Rockies is the world-famous Banff Springs Hotel. Built in 1885, the Banff Springs is built in the Canadian Chateau style, which is modeled after the Scottish baronial style with French Chateau accents. Sometimes referred to as the Castle in the Rockies, the Banff Springs Hotel is every much an attraction as it is accommodation. The lower floors are marked with grand ballrooms, restaurants, lounges and shopping arcades. The traditionally styled rear entrance overlooks the valley below with stunning views of the incredible Rundle Mountain. 
In the courtyard off the main floor, there is a skating rink and on occasion, beautifully carved ice sculptures. The main lobby is more modern, following the unique Rocky Mountain style with exposed stone and timbers, with grand arches and sweeping staircases. Luxury accommodation and spectacular conference facilities make the Banff Springs popular for corporate retreats and weddings. The Willow Stream Spa will pamper guests with a host of therapeutic services after a long day on the slopes or hiking. The shopping arcade includes uniquely Canadian fare, art galleries and luxury items. The Banff Springs Hotel put Banff on the map and it continues to attract visitors with its majestic presence. Just up the road on Sulphur Mountain is the Banff Upper Hot Springs. The Hot Springs has become a favorite destination for visitors year-round. Modernized over the years, the Hot Springs water comes from a natural mineral source contained within Sulphur Mountain. At up to 40 degrees Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit, the water does have a distinct sulfur odor, but most visitors will attest to the therapeutic properties after just a short dip. Also, the views are pretty amazing. Right next to the hot springs is the Banff Gondola, which will take you to the top of Sulphur Mountain. Tickets are available on site and free shuttle bus service is provided from downtown Banff. It will take about eight minutes to arrive at the top of the mountain in one of the safe but small four-person gondola cars. At the top, there is a wooded boardwalk along the ridge to take in the epic views, or have lunch at the restaurant in the modern Summit Building. At an altitude of over 8,000 feet, the views up here are breathtaking. Just to the northwest of Banff is Vermilion Lakes. A great spot to take that iconic photo of Rundle and Sulphur Mountain reflecting in the partially frozen lake, or catch a glimpse of the indigenous wildlife feeding by the shore. At sunset, the lake will be populated by professional and amateur photographers attempting to get that perfect shot. From the north end of Banff, head up the road to Banff's closest ski resort, Mount Norquay. The road is a twisty climb up the mountain, and there are a few scenic stops on the way to get an amazing photo of the town of Banff. Getting to Lake Louise is a 45 minute drive northwest of Banff on the Trans-Canada Highway, or an hour or two on Highway 1A. About 15 minutes on the Trans-Canada Highway journey is Sunshine Village, a local favorite ski resort that straddles the Continental Divide. Alternately, Johnson Canyon is a popular spot on Highway 1A. The 30-minute ice walk trail will lead you through spectacular fairy tale scenery along the river to the majestic Frozen Falls. The Lake Louise Ski Hills boasts some of the best skiing in the Canadian Rockies and is regularly home to World Cup skiing events. With over 4,200 acres of skiing, Lake Louise offers beginner, intermediate and expert runs from all chairlifts. In addition to world-class skiing, Lake Louise is home to the Postcard Resort at the edge of the lake. During the winter, the lake is completely frozen with a beautifully maintained ice skating area. Guests can also hike the winter trails, cross-country ski, or take in award-winning ice sculptures. While lending a more modern look, the Chateau Lake Louise has had several expansions and updates over the years since the first log cabin was built on the site in 1890. With over 550 rooms, the Chateau attracts international guests year-round. Several shopping options surround the lobby and lower level, with seven dining options in the hotel, most overlooking the splendor of the lake. With over a thousand glaciers, three major ski resorts, incredible hiking trails, and numerous accessible lakes, Banff National Park has plenty to offer for the nature enthusiast.
We hope you enjoyed this video of Banff and Lake Louise. Be sure to click like and subscribe to our channel. Feel free to leave a comment or question below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.